Well, as you can see outside, it's uh, the leaves are starting to turn, but it's about 36 degrees outside, and it's been trying to snow off and on today. And mostly rain, though. Up in the mountains, not far up in the mountains, by the way. It's snowing like crazy. It's a blizzard. I'm going to be working on this figure. I want to see if I can do, first of all, a head this small. I'm going to take the head out of the uh, figure's uh, body. And I'm going to try to do this in my hands. And hopefully I'll keep it in the camera. If I can't do the head this size, then I'm going to have to figure out something else to do with the uh, horses. Time to play with some clay. I think I can do this. Uh, the head is going to be that size from bottom of the chin to the top of the head. And so I think I can do this. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to get my cutting board and set it up. So I've got something to roll of clay on. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just putting down the board. And uh, let's see if I can get my cameras a little bit closer. That's pretty close. <laughs> All right, let's get busy. Now, being as cold as it is in here, I got a feeling this clay may harden up too fast. And if that's the case, I'll just uh, go using my plastiline. All right, I got one head sketched in. I'll go and work on the uh, other three. Whoop! Cut the back of his head off. <laughs> Careful, Dave. His brains will spill out. What will solidify the position of the head? is when I put the neck on and I'll do that with uh, monster clay I'll do the basic <coughs> neck with that okay I like that got another one to do I think what I'm going to do is work on these heads tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and block in. Well, I don't know what position I'm going to have the Warriors doing. I'm just sort of shooting in the dark. I think I want to get started on the faces and stuff like that. Now, everybody's different in the size of head measurements and everything like that. But, uh, oh, my fingers are cold. <laughs> it's just... You can't really reflect the size difference of heads because... If you do that, people will say, why is his head smaller than his head? 
and uh, you start raising questions in a client's not potential client's not mind you lose a sale so and besides that I actually don't want to make them different sizes okay check proportions again okay just add a little bit more Ooh, it's starting to rain heavily. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with the decision I've made to use J-Mac instead. I'm used to it. I've been using J-Mac for probably 20, 30 years. I've used Chavant also. In fact, that's what I first started sculpting with was Chavant. Chavant's a great quay also. And it's made out of Red Bank, New Jersey. You can get both types of clay from Sculpture Depot. In uh, Loveland, Colorado. Gonna have to bring up his forehead over up a little bit, but I think that works good. Okay, I put the uh, monster clay back underneath the uh, warming light, which is a 100 watt bulb, and uh, I will come back and uh, work on the horse armatures as well. I'm going to be uh, using monster clay to uh, solidify the armature. I still got to come up with an idea for how I'm going to have each horse moving, which legs are going to be up, which legs are going to be down, all that. And I can't do it now. I'm going to do it uh, overnight. And uh, that's why I'm going to quit now. All right, everybody. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.